Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode. We are out here with plenty of time for, for the first time ever here on Sergeant Outdoors. <laughs> you just checking it or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a new camera, you guys know, but uh, <laughs> the screen doesn't flip out or up at all. So like making sure it's proper is a tough chore sometimes. Really full moon, but it, it oh, man, I don't know. I have never been this confused about what the deer are going to do. Because today it's 20 mile an hour winds from the south. Going to be really warm today. And we had a full moon with clear skies all night. So I have no idea what's about to happen. Have the deer been up and about all night so the daylight activity is going to be down? Or because it's windy are they going to be moving? Or because it's windy are they going to be laying down? Because God only knows. Uh, what that is going to do for us. So today is her day. So I will just be running the cameras and we need some luck. Yeah. yeah I, I have not had luck as you guys seen. So we need a little bit of luck for Marilyn and hopefully I have set my expectations at seeing a deer in the stand, in the stand, not spooking it on the way in, not spooking it on the way out, not on the roads. From the stand, I would like to see a deer. <laughs> yes, specific. Uh, but anyway, it's it's cold, and we got a got a little bit of a jaunt back in the woods, so we're gonna get going here. And uh, once there's enough light, we'll turn the other cameras on, and hopefully there's some deer around us by then. So. All right. So the microphone is with Marilyn because it's so windy out. Uh, we just left the truck. We walked out. My camera was stolen, uh, and then I looked at Marilyn and I jokingly said, well, hopefully my tree stand's still there, and uh, some garbage human took the hang-on that was hanging there. It's a $70 stand from Menards, 60-whatever stand from Menards, and they felt the need to steal it. So, here we are. Day kind of ruined because a hunter, one of us, a fellow hunter stole a tree stand. Like that's this sucks. This sucks so much. And and I get it. Like it's partly my own fault. I didn't lock it on the tree. Uh, for everyone else out there, um, I won't make that mistake again. But I thought, I thought the group of people that hunted this public land were good. It's been five years. I've never had anything stolen out there. Um, and I guess today my odds ran out. So I got to get in here and get another stand and then uh, we'll get it hung up and get it hung up and locked to the tree this time. And I'm going to have to move it, which really sucks because my YouTube channel, hello there, uh, is on the camera that he stole. Plus it's written on the ladder stand he left, he or she. Um, so... So he can go watch my content whenever he wants. And to you directly. You're a garbage human being. And I hope you never, ever have any good luck out in the woods ever again. I hate everything about you. And I think I speak for every public land hunter when I say you're the worst garbage human being on the planet. My wife has one day a week to hunt. That's it. She loves hunting. She loves getting out in the woods. She gets one day. And because of you, the day is ruined. Thank you for being a garbage human. I don't know if I've stressed that point enough. If you're a hunter and you are considering it, if it's even crossed your mind, do not do it. Do not steep do not stoop to those levels of low life. And I gotta, I don't know what else to say. It just really sucks. And I want to drive the point home that stealing someone's stuff, especially a fellow hunter, especially a fellow hunter that is hunting public land, you're the worst. So... Thank you.
for reminding me that not everyone is good. I, I, this, it really sucks for this channel because I'm so transparent. I am so transparent because I want to share. I want nothing but you guys to be successful. I don't care if I know you, I don't know you. I share my trail camera photos. I share my hunting spots in the hopes that maybe you go have some success. And now I can't do that. Last year, something happened, and now I don't want to share trail camera photos. And now this year, a tree stand is stolen. So now I have to be secretive about where I'm hunting, what I'm hunting. I won't be able to be open with you guys. I won't be able to record in certain areas so that people that are around me don't recognize it. And that sucks. That really, really sucks. You didn't just steal a tree stand. You stole trust. And that's... That's the most painful part, but enough ranting, enough, enough being disappointed and upset about this. I got to go in here, get a new tree stand, get some locks. And then in the midday, we got to move some stands so that me and Marilyn have somewhere to sit, even though the weather is really going to suck this evening, um, for hunting, we got to go get some stuff moved around. So, oh, <sighs> just really really disappointing but anyway rant over let's go buy a new tree stand and uh keep moving with this day shall we morning everyone i'm alone in the tree stand because somebody stole our hang on stand which is very unfortunate we're gonna do our best to let this not ruin our day i'm still fortunate enough to keep hunting just had a little six pointer walk by which is pretty cool um, it's the same six pointer I'm pretty sure it's the same six pointer from last time and uh, he was just walking sniffing around he did get probably a good 40 yards from me and kept look kept kind of looking in my direction he's downwind from me but never really spotted me and then he kind of just went on his merry way so that was good he didn't get spooked uh, but it was cool to see him let's hope we see we see more He's down on the swamp, or you're definitely gonna have to lean over to see him. See the does, the does head behind that tree. Oh. Oops. That's unusual. I don't even see him. You'll see it, right? You can see her right at the ground. Right at the ground? Oh, I see it. His truck. looking way past it all right ladies and gentlemen uh Marilyn's episode is kind of weird because of how uh how mentally exhausted I am currently so we haven't recorded anything all day we moved some stands around I went and bought a new stand to replace from earlier uh but Marilyn saw a deer in the stand so sure did. so that's that's at least a positive um we're out here. I brought cable locks with. I brought a new tree stand with. We're going to go hang it and hunt it tonight. We're already a little late. 
we're probably not going to be set up till almost 340, um, which is which is cutting into it this time of year. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Let's see if Marilyn's got anything to say. Marilyn does not have anything to say. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You can ask me questions. I don't like just talking. I'm not you, love of my life. You can just talk. Yes. I'm not excited to hang or sit on a hang on stand because there's nothing underneath you. And sure, I know there's straps. I'm safe. I have a harness. So. <laughs> so, as you know, we have. I have seen nothing in this stand other than deer that I've scared away. Um, we're going right back in here. Gonna hang a new stand. Sit in there tonight because I'm not going back to Sorry. I'm, I'm not going back to the uh, old faithful public land for I don't know how long because I'm just... We're taking a break from each other. I'm bitter about it. I'm sour about it. I had the cable lock with me the first time I ever went and put that stand up. And just forgot to put it on and then now here we are weeks later and i'm partly to blame so it's just hard it's just tough to get over this one <laughs> that yes. old ass seat falling apart rusted bolty hang on stand got stolen so it's all right karma will get him hopefully um but like i said i'm just oh 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 Oh, and one of our biggest bucks ever on camera to date was shot by not a neighbor, but someone who hunts a neighboring property. So, stolen stand, dead deer, we haven't seen anything, just really mentally exhausted. So, this episode's going to be a little different. If this is the first time you've ever watched me, I apologize. It's not going to be like this all the time. We're just, I'm just... I haven't been in a mindset to get the camera out and record for you guys. So hopefully we get in the stand, we have a good night, and things turn around. That is all we can hope for. Um, but with that said, the wind isn't the greatest. It's warm out. So it is what it is. But then again, it's Halloween, and anything can happen. Deer can do anything tonight and today. So. Mom said there's a blue moon tonight. That it happens once every 19 years. Yes. So it's a blue moon. So there's 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 pros and cons all over the place, which equates to no clue what's gonna happen. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go in expecting the worst, which is zero deer. And if anything happens at all, I'll be satisfied. So it's just unfortunate. She only gets a hunt one day this week, and it's been such a terrible day. So that. I saw a little buck and a fisher. And you just did a terrible job trying to call in deer, so. <laughs> did you watch the footage? Not yet. But I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I I probably did, and I say it in the tree. I look at the camera and I say, "I'm probably gonna mess this up because I've never done this before." We'll let you call tonight, and I'll coach you through it. That way, you know for future reference. Yeah, I probably <laughs> did do a bad job. <laughs> All right, enough talking to you guys. We gotta get going. I gotta move some stands to get the second one up in the tree. So, let's head out to the woods. Another hunt in the books. We at least saw a deer. It happened. Mm -hmm. I saw a deer from a tree stand. I forgot what they looked like, and it was damn near invisible in that cornfield. It's crazy how invisible it was. Uh, but that's a wrap on today. I just wanted to make sure to let you guys know. I appreciate your views. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, we can get this ship turned around here in November. And uh, 
have some good hunts again. It started out really good and 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 it went downhill pretty fast. So let's just make November a better month. Like, share, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the woods.